George. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've just arrived today in Portugal in the Algarve and the weather's amazing. The scenery here is absolutely beautiful. So it's a place I've wanted to go for a really long time. And I speak Portuguese because um, I've spent quite a lot of time in Brazil. So Portugal is somewhere I've wanted to go just to experience the culture. I know some of the language and the Algarve especially being somewhere which is just full of beautiful beaches and a hotel is right next to a beach so we are super lucky and the weather is amazing so I'm going to go down to the beach and paint a sea scape get some of the beach some of the rocks I'm really excited so as you can see in front of me beautiful blue sea blue sky some trees um, just a lot of really nice scenery so let's go down to the beach remember to hit subscribe if you're new to this channel and let's check out how this beach is I've arrived on this beautiful beach which is called Praia Senhora da Rocha and it's absolutely amazing the sea has got a lovely blue turquoise color to it these rocks are gonna make for a really interesting painting and it's warm it's sunny the sand is actually really hot uh, which is a nice change from being in England so I think I'm gonna go and paint a bit closer to that rock which is again lit by the Sun and I think that's going to make a really nice composition so let's go there and let's get into this painting remember to hit that subscribe button and let's start painting i'm painting on a gesso primed panel that's 30 by 25 centimeters using a fine brush i sketch in the overall shape of the rock and i also sketch in the horizon where i want the line of the sea to be on my board i start by making a mix on my palette for the sky color I make this mix using titanium white, manganese blue, which is a very cool, slightly greenish blue, and ultramarine blue. For the area of the sky, which is just above the horizon, I add quite a bit more titanium white as this area is lighter in value. And I also add a touch of my Naples yellow and a small touch of alizarin crimson, just to make this area slightly warmer, as it has a slightly warmer hint to it whereas the areas of sky which are higher up are a lot bluer and have a deeper blue and above this light area above the horizon I start adding more of my manganese blue into the mix and then as the sky gets right up higher and higher I add more of my ultramarine blue which is a deeper slightly purpler blue here I'm painting the shadow shapes on the rock formation and now I'm going in with thicker paint and painting on the light areas of the rock. And as I keep painting this cliff, I start to pick out subtle changes within the value shifts within the rock and also the color shifts as well. For example, right down at the bottom, close to the sea, it's quite a grey colour and it's also a bit darker whereas the general area of the cliff in light is a very pale yellowy colour. I also start to pick out dark accents within the shadows and a few darker accents within the light area of the rock where shadows are getting cast by protruding parts of rock. So here I'm painting in the area of the sea that's picking up the reflection of the rock and it has a really lovely green color to it with some areas having the same chalky yellow that the rock has as the color of the rock is getting reflected into the water.
I'm now painting the white section of Throff where the waves break onto the beach. So unfortunately I missed the bit where I painted in the bulk of sand, but I basically painted the section closest to the sea to be a bit warmer and darker in value as this area is a bit wet due to the tide and in the foreground I painted more contrast into the sand with the lightest areas being brighter than the more distant sand however the shadow areas caused by people's footprints are a lot darker and have a cool purplish hue adding these details into the foreground of the sand helps create a sense of depth in the painting as typically foreground areas being closer to us we see them in more detail and therefore the contrast between tonal values and also chroma tends to be more intense. Here I'm painting some people into the beach who are relaxing and catching the last of the evening sun. So I hope you enjoyed that video of me painting here on uh, the prior of Nossa Senora da Rocha. So behind me there's actually a church um, which is the Nossa Senora da Rocha church and that's why the beach is named uh, Nossa Senora da Rocha. But I really enjoyed painting here, it was good fun trying to get the, the, the rocks and the shadows and all of the details of the rocks and the reflection in the water as well. Um, in the sea it was really good fun and then painting the people in a little bit fiddly but i always think it's nice it adds a lot of life and a narrative to the painting as well so i'm happy with this painting it's my first painting here in the algarve region of portugal so i'm going to try and paint every day that i'm here so remember please hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it you can also follow me on instagram at george frederick thomas I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.